everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I'm getting ready to make fresh raspberry soap. Let me make some room here. I'm going to split this into three containers, but I'm actually only going to use two colors. Static on the inside there. Okay. I'm doing this because I am overthinking and I'm trying to eliminate any error because I've already had, well, a big blunder today. I was soaping happily away on a remake and I, <laughs> um, Sorry, grabbed the wrong bottle of something and didn't double check the label and ruined 10 pounds of soap. So, triple checking everything now because I just, I can't afford to ruin any more soap today. One, it's expensive and two, it just, it takes up a lot of time that I just don't have. And unfortunately, it's not a salvageable mistake. So I'm going to be scraping it out of the mold later and starting over. Yay. Oh. And see, I did it again. But actually not a big mistake like I was just talking about, but I forgot my cream and my fragrance. My lye solution is already in here. That is right. I splashed some on my face this morning and that is painful. shall we? Goes my cream. You might hear the children in the background. They have been in and out of the room today helping one of my girls She's in love with the scent. This is fresh raspberry. I think I mentioned that. But I just finished doing a sugar scrub and a lotion in this scent. And bath bombs, which I'm not happy with bath bombs. I'm going to remake those. I'm a bit of a perfectionist. And there's the fragrance. Hopefully this is not a fast-moving fragrance. I've never actually soaked with it. We'll find out. I'm not going to blend in too much. Okay. I'm checking my table. Everything is in the soap now. Well, with that being said, I now know is really full. As soon as I stick my stick blender in there, it's going to come out the back. I can see that. I think. No, I'm going to go ahead and I was debating just leaving this in the bowl since now I know where to pour, but I'm concerned about pouring it into my mold. I'm using my dividers today with this one, my daughter told me that's what she wanted me to do. And I haven't used the dividers in a while. We 
sat on the floor the other night, my three girls and I, and went over a bunch of fragrances I just got. Don't know if you heard me because I was walking away, but we went over some fragrances that I just got. Hand planned holiday soaps and designs. And this was one of the ones that she really wanted me to soap, even though it's not really holiday. I mean, it's raspberry and it smells so good. I think you can use it any time of the year. But, um, you know, she's very involved. And she comes to my markets with me and talks to people. Whoa, okay, we're just going to have a nice And I'm going to just hand stir the rest of that in there. There we go. I need some more color. I worried about that. Containers are great, but man, they don't hold a lot. You know, the smart thing would have been to mix the color in the big container and then pour it in here. I didn't think about that. This is so full. Okay, but it's all mixed. I'll pour it in and then mix it a little bit more, I think. I think I'm just a little off because of the the blender this morning. I don't know. I don't know. But, hey, this is real life. I'll still post this video. And, you know, I just decided because I want these colors to be the same. I'm going to pull them back in. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I had to move my camera. I'll check the angle here in a second. Okay. You can kind of see. Let me clean this up. I spilled soap all over the place. I need some bigger containers that have a good spout. That's actually a pretty good color. So, third time's the charm. I'm gonna pour this back into these containers. Good heavens. It's starting to thicken up a little bit, but I think it's still workable. So anyway, my daughter and I sat down on the floor this morning and sat with our list that we made with the designs and picked out the fragrances and the soaps that I was going to make now. I'm going to put this back there. Make sure I'm in the shot. So I'm going to start with white in the center. It's going to be a little awkward with this thing in the middle holding it up, but. I am finding that I'm having a bowing issue with this divider. And I still poured soap where it wasn't supposed to go. Let's stir up this white again. Anyway, this piece is supposed to help with bowing. 
Okay, well, timer stopped. I was just pouring away. It's a little awkward pouring into this divider, but let me make sure. is getting really thick. I was going to try to pay attention to which pink went in which side, but I keep spinning the mold around and I've lost all track of that. I know that I'm not in the camera right now, but this is thickening up pretty fast now. So I'm doing my best here. Just a little bit more here. I'm going to have to move the camera for the next soaps that I do because I've really limited myself as to where I can pour. And I have three more batches to do today, plus I have to remake the double batch that I you know, ruined this morning. a little even. I'm going to take a hanger through the center of it. Get that ready there. Oops, just dropped a bunch of soap. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take these out to wipe off my hands so I can grab them. soap into the container. I have learned that I cannot do this into the soap itself. I don't have the dexterity for that. Slippery little buggers. So it's like 97 degrees today. And I'm getting ready to soak fall and autumn scents. Crazy, isn't it? a 
little bit more. Maybe. I'm going to attempt to add more soap here. It's just so blasted thick. Probably wouldn't have been a big deal. I'm sure I would have had enough time had I not needed to pour it back into the mold 20 times or into the uh, pot 20 times. But you know, I don't do things the easy way. All right. So, start with my soaping tool, and this unfortunately doesn't go all the way across my mold. Let me check. That's a little better. It would be nice if it did because it would make, then I could make sure that I've got straight lines. I might have to order another one of these. Wipe that off. It's just easier to get all the soap off of that. Okay, now I'm going to do the top and I'm just going to follow the same lines and do a swirl. If this video is too long, I'll just fast forward and do some music, which I have a feeling that's what I'm going to end up doing. Which means I'm essentially talking to myself right now. Trying to scrape the last little bit out of here. I just got these new scrapers because they're narrow and I thought they would be good for getting down into pots, but they don't really do a very good job of scraping things out. So, live and learn. Okay, a little bit more pink left. Try to clean up my colossal mess. you may have just missed me swirl my top because the camera stopped again. A little bit of glitter. And there you have 
fresh raspberry. Stay tuned for the cutting video. I will attach it to the back of this. Okay, here is fresh raspberry. All ready to cut. The girls are all here for this. They helped me plan. Took off during the making, but they're here for the cutting. They made me promise to wait for them. Huh. Yeah. Alright, so the ends aren't going to be horribly impressive. But the middle. Uh, what do you so think? It's pretty. It's pretty. That is what we were going for. This smells so good. Um, this is, I think, my new favorite scent. I'll make sure this is focused here. That's not focused. That's better. I just did bath bombs and sugar scrub and lotion, which actually the sugar scrub is right there, and this is amazing. They happen to be sitting next to me on my shelf. And the top. It's gorgeous. Thank you. I'm really happy with this one. The pink lost a little bit of its red hue, but that's okay. It's still really pretty. It's not too pinky. It's got a, a berry hint to it. And the last piece, I believe I said on my video, on the making video, that this would be cured August 4th. Well, that was yesterday. So, it won't be cured until September 5th, 2014, but will be available online at StargazerSoaps.com. Thanks for watching. Bye!